Hi, my name is Mrs. Gimple, and I figured I will record a video of myself doing this interest um, survey so you can get to know a little bit more about me. And I think I'm just going to go right in order with what is on here. And Okay, my favorite subject in school was biology. Um, surprise, surprise. Um, I always like to learn about um, how living things are organized, how they are discovered, things about cells, DNA, that sort of thing. Was I was really interested in high school. Um, and my least favorite activity was math. And I think just because I wasn't good at it. Um, in college, I had some really good um, chemistry professors and math professors and would learn um, math that was specific for what I was working on. And I, I think I got to know it a little bit better, um, but I still struggled with it. Um, all right. So that has what, what was most challenging. And I think the challenge was positive. But as long as I wasn't using it, I was forgetting it. So once I would learn how to use it, um, for example, in chemistry, it would be a lot easier for me. Um, I think I learn most about science. I learn about um, genetics and um, biochemistry is just an, an interest of mine. Um, so I read that sort of stuff for, for hobby. I think when I am taking classes or learning, um, when the teachers and professors vary the material and ways that you they present the material, um, that's how I um, learn because doing one, any one thing for too long, I get distracted. So if it's reading or watching a video, I like to kind of switch it up. And I, I try to do that as much as possible in my teaching. Um classroom activity where I felt like I learned a lot. <laughs> um, well, I'm trying to think of something off the top of my head. Um, I one time asked a professor if we can do a take-home test, kind of just um, not thinking he was going to actually do it. And <laughs> I think I learned from that experience uh, not to ever ask for take-home tests. Um, I just remember like spending so much time on having to do all these plant pathways. And um, when I got my, you know, it took for, forever and I had to write out all these structural formulas. And when I got it back, um, it had a 99 of 100 written on it. And um, I guess I had the nerve to ask him what I got wrong. And he just kind of looked at it and said, I'm, I'm sure there's something missing somewhere. And he was probably right. Um, personally, I like to work uh, alone um, just because I, I feel like I can accomplish more. But that's not to say that the group work is not uh, valuable or that I don't learn from it. Um, just given a preference, I would probably work alone. Um, but I, I need to get out of that comfort zone sometimes. So I do um, sometimes prefer to work in, in smaller groups. What do I want to do after high school? Hmm. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, is there life after high school? Um, both as a teacher and a student. Um, but um, when I first um graduated, I wanted to be a medical technician. Um, and then in college, I thought I wanted to be a medical doctor. And then I decided I wanted to go into research. So I got, I worked into in research for a master's degree and part of a PhD, which then I decided I was not that interested in what I was working on. Okay. And um, I really enjoyed who I was working with, but I, I really missed the big picture of science, where, what I was working on. Um, so I decided I wanted to give this teaching thing a try for a while. And then now, 14 years later, I am still teaching high school. Um, but I'm also, I also work in um, photography. Um, doing some weddings and portrait photography as well. So um, 
those are some kind of my my career pathway. I was in research and then teaching, and um, now in addition to teaching, I I also do do photography. Okay, extracurricular activities, socializing with friends. Well, I don't do too much socializing with friends anymore because I have kids, but uh, most of the time I, I, I socialize with people that also have kids, my kids' ages and, and such. But in my spare time, I really enjoy nature photography, uh, portrait photography, um, and reading. Um, how many hours per day do I use technology, computer, tablet, smartphone? Um, it's probably be easier to count how many hours I don't use them. Um, un unfortunately, um, between teaching and, and doing um, other other things, it's it's uh, way too many hours. Um, but I try for both myself and my kids to not use, um, to try to, you know, take some breaks and go outside and play and look at things and go for walks and, you know, not be tempted to check something every minute of every day. Um, organizations, teams, clubs, out of school. Um, well, um, I have a member of Professional Photography um, Association um, and some other groups of um mom photographers, for example. Um, so that's pretty, pretty much it for that. Any particular responsibilities outside of school? Well, um, I have two kids and let's see, instead of just bringing them up on the screen, I'll just show a, a picture of them here. Um, I don't know how well we can see, see them. Um, but those are my boys and, um, it's a picture of them with their, their trophies. I will show you other pictures, I'm sure. And I, um, spe specifically with my younger boy, who's the one on the, the top there looking up, um, he has a, a genetic condition that I, I tend to talk about in class quite a bit and use as an example of understanding genetics. So, okay. And so my part-time job, um, part-time job is... Uh, Full-time jobs are teaching and mom, and my part-time job is photography. Um, describe myself using three words. Um, I'd say I'm quiet until I really get to know people. Um, I'm creative and inquisitive. I love to read. Um, these days, I'm almost exclusively reading um, nonfiction, specifically science, nutrition, uh, nonfiction. Favorite book or movie and why I liked it? Um, well, let me, well, let me talk about I'll do both. Um, my most recent favorite book um, is Good Calories and Bad Calories. And... Um, there's also a kind of an abridged version of that is why we get fat and what to do about it. And I really like those books because it went through a history of why um, we understand what we do or don't understand about um, nutrition, heart disease. Um, and it really helped me understand my body. Um, I'm a, a type two diabetic. My dad's a type one diabetic. And it really helped me understand how my body works and, um, so that's why I like that book. Um, as far as a movie goes, one of my favorite movies is um, Good Will Hunting. And I just kind of like that movie because um, it kind of shows how um, uh, just about kind of overcoming adversity and how um, the most intelligent people aren't necessarily um, from kind of the, the best upbringing and um, the struggles that go along with that and kind of when sometimes people are intelligent, how they kind of just want to live a normal life. So if you haven't seen that, I would definitely recommend checking that out. Um, if I can learn any uh, more about any subject, what is it? And I'm constantly um, looking at um, uh, things about nutrition and fat metabolism um, and I'm just interested in understanding myself, um, again, as a, a type um to diabetic. Um, that's why I'm very curious about that. Um, if I could interview anybody dead or alive, um, who would it be and why? And I'm going to have to pause the recording here.
and have to splice. Okay, to pick up where I left off, um, if I could interview anyone dead or alive, who would it be and why? Um, going back tw almost 20 years or so, I've always been a big fan of the Dave Matthews band. So I guess I could interview anybody, I'd pick Dave Matthews just because I've had, been long interested in, in the music uh, and the artists. Um, if I could travel anywhere in the world, where would I go and why? Um, I think as a biologist, um, the uh, Galapagos Islands are definitely like a bucket list sort of thing for a lot of biologists, biology teachers. So I would pick the Galapagos Islands um, and special talent or interests. Um, I, I've said photography, but specifically um, one of the things that I'm super interested in and super I practice a lot of is uh, macro photography. So looking at um, taking very close up um, magnified images with um, specialized lenses. And I think that that's um, something that somebody's that people always tell me that I have a special talent in is, is macro photography. And it takes a lot of practice to do that as well. And I usually spend a lot of time in the summer in the garden taking pictures of, of bugs mostly mostly insects okay um past accomplishment that i'm most proud of um when i was a graduate student i won a, a presentation student presentation award and uh for my master's thesis work and that um entitled me to get a free trip the next year to the to the same conference so that's something i'm, I'm pretty proud of um and something that i want you to know about myself is that um you know, if you ever have any questions or problems, feel free to approach me and, and ask me, um, talk to me about it. I'm a pretty understanding person. All right, so that's about me.